Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to use the relational operator for our simulink model. So, to start this, we will type a simulink in the command window and just press enter. Upon entering, we will get this kind of interface as shown in the screen and in the simulink we have different options so we will choose the blank model for our project we just click on the blank model and once we click the blank model a new window will appear with the untitled model name so this is the new window and the name is untitled simulink and to build the to use the relation operator we will go to the library browser and just click on the library browser a new window will appear here so to the relational operator we can either search here the relational operator and we will go to the con commonly used block and if we haven't found the in the commonly used block we will go to the logic and bit operators so in the logic and bit operators we can directly drag and drop the relation operator from uh, the library browser to our product project and, and we can use we can just right click and we can go uh, we can with the keyboard shortcut we can use the control i and we can just click on this eight block to the model entitled so we will get the relation operator here and just we just double we just and double click on the relation operator and we will see uh, the double equals to less than less than equal to greater than equal to greater than is infinite is not a number and is finite so these are the different relational operators so here how to use it we will see in this lecture so now we will go to the browser library browser and we will see the uh, constant block and we will see the scope in our model we will connect the scope in our model so we'll just connect the relational operator with the scope and we'll just connect the two constant okay and we'll keep the point five one and other constant is one and we will see and the condition is true when first input should be less than the second input so it will use the output zero as the output will be one so here you can see the first input is greater than the second input so output will always be zero so here runtime we will make it point one and we will run the simulink model now we will see in the scope so as you can see here the output is 0 now what we will do we will just change the numbers 0. 0.5 we will keep the one first one and we will keep the one second one so here the first input is the 0. 0.5 and the second input is the one the first input is less than the second input yeah this condition is true then we will just run this model and we will get the output as 1 as you can see here so this is how the relational operator will work now we will see the other uh, relational operator and if we keep the less than values and <coughs> we'll see this one and we'll analyze the output That will be one. If we'll keep it greater than, and we'll just run this. So, so we'll get the zero because the point five is less than one. So this condition is false. So we'll get the output as zero. So this is how we can use the relation operator in our project where you want to compare the two numbers and get the output so if you haven't subscribed the channel please go and subscribe the channel for the latest update thank you thank you very